In this session, we're going to look at installing a Python IDE. The IDE we're going to look at using is by JetBrains, and it's an actually called IntelliJ, and we're going to actually put a Python plugin into it. So let's get underway. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to head off to um, JetBrains. So JetBrains. So if we head out to there, you'll actually see it up here. Click on it. Once you log in, you can actually go find the IDE you're looking for. So I'm actually going to be using the IntelliJ IDE. This will then open up to the area which we can download IntelliJ from. So I'm going to click on the download button. And this will take us through to an area which we can actually download what's called Ultimate, a paid version. Otherwise, we can download the community version. So I'm going to click on download community. If you want to see the features, this gives you an idea of the features that you can pay for. Otherwise, for what we're using, we will be fine with the open source version. So click on download. Now, depending on the type of download you have, you can actually install the PC version if you're on a PC machine. Otherwise, you can download a Mac version, which I'm doing at the moment. What I'll do is accelerate this through so we can do the install. Now the file is downloaded, we need to click on it and click on open. The DMG file will open, all we need to do is drag IntelliJ across the applications folder. Now IntelliJ is finished installing. We now should be able to open up IntelliJ by going to our launch pad and then opening IntelliJ. Click on open. Now once IntelliJ opens, you've got two things you can select from. I'm going to choose Dracula and click on next. And then ask you if you've used it before. Go with I've never used IDE before. Just click on next, click on next, and click on next. Now before we go into creating a new project, we're going to click on configure. And we're going to go have a look at plugins. Now what we want to do is install some plugins. And the first one we want to install is actually Python. So we're looking at installing the community edition. Now, if you cannot see this, you need to click on your HTTP proxy setting, set it to auto. And if you're at school, you'll need to set the auto proxy. And there is the URL that you can get from class to put into here. This will allow you to get to the proxy and out through the proxy. Now, remember, when you open IntelliJ, you may have to put your username and password in it. So the proxy knows that you want to go out on the Internet. So once you've done that, you can click on OK. I'm just going to leave mine set to auto detect. Then you should be able to see Python and then click on install. Once this is installed, you can then click on close, click on OK. It'll ask you to restart, so let it restart. And then we can click on create new project. It's going to ask us the sort of project we want to make. We want to make a Python project. And then we're going to click on next. We're then going to be asked for a project name. And then we'll just put welcome and click on finish. It'll have all the tips coming up at the moment. You can turn them off. I'll leave them running at the moment. Just click on close. What we want to do underneath the project welcome, we're going to right mouse click and go new Python file. We'll give it a name. And this will be intro. Click on OK. Then what we want to do is go print, bracket, quote, www.lmarsden. Then we can right mouse click, go run intro. And now you can see down the bottom here, it's actually got our version of Python that we're running. So we're running version 3.6. And you can see that it's given us www.lmarsden.com. So if you want to print something else out, you can actually go print. And then go Leon Marsden. And then when you run this, you can actually see it's given us the URL, then Leon Marsden. So then you can normally go up and do your file, then down to save all, and that'll save your work so far. So this is the introduction to installing IntelliJ and installing the Python plugin and configuring this to a proxy server if you're working behind a proxy. And now you're ready to master the Python programming.